Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and as you can hear, I'm not feeling too well, but that's not going to stop me from bringing you the update of the brand new Easter event for Idle Heroes. We have a ton of stuff, and I would actually go so far as to say this is the best event we've ever had of either this year or even in the last few years. Some saying that the last time we had an event this good was when Russell and Drake came out, and that was a long, long time ago, back in 2020. So we've got some really great rewards for you guys, and the best thing is the only thing you need to use is gems and wishing coins. No profit orbs, no heroic summon scrolls. It is just a fantastic event that is giving a huge amount of rewards for spenders and free-to-play players. I love that. Also, to help you this week, guys, we have a brand new code that you can enter in to your Idle Heroes account. It is Springtime 2022 IH, which you can use to get yourself some gems and scrolls to help you this week. Mainly the gems are going to be the big lifeline because you're going to need quite a large number. So guys, let's go see what you need to do this week in Idle Heroes. So, every single day for logging in, you're going to get yourself 15 Mithril Pickaxes. And these are really important, because we're going to need these to make progress in this event. And it is more important than ever that you log in every day and get these, because these are going to mean you get tons of rewards, not just from Sky Labyrinth, but the Easter event itself. And as well, you get some Super Wishing Coins, which can help you get some rewards from the Super Wishing Fountain, which is nice. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the cool events. So, first things first, Bell Rain's concert is coming to an end. So, if you high roll the Glory Epic Chest, good for you. If you didn't, you can go ahead and pick up some of this stuff here. My recommendation would be Prophet Orbs or Scrolls. A lot of people might go for skins to help you build some legendary skins. In fact, that is probably the strongest recommendation I can go for. And then with whatever's left over, obviously clean up with gold and spirit. Those of you who managed more or decided to spend, you've probably already decided at this point that you're going to get a flag or star spawn cores or even Antlers Cane. The value packages for this week are very standard for a Mithril Pickaxe and Wishing Coin event. However, you also get Diamond Easter Eggs and on these lower packages, superb Easter Eggs thrown in. And these Easter Eggs can be opened throughout the week to get some really nice rewards. We'll start with the Diamond Easter Egg, which is really cool. It's getting you Master's Toolboxes, Star Spawn Cores, Glorious Relics, or a Festival Limited Skin. And when I was scrolling through this, I was like, wow, this is great. And then it hits you. There is also a chance that you can get yourself a pretty rubbish artifact. And that's a bit of a shame. Or you could get a fancy artifact, which you can go ahead and break down for, well, additional bonuses at the Almost Workshop. You get a lot more for these exclusive artifacts than you do for standard stuff like Magic Source or Azrael. So hopefully you can high roll a rarer artifact if you do get an artifact, but really getting a Festival Limited skin or even any of these materials up here is ridiculous. So I love the fact that you can get these. As well, if you go take a look at the Superb Easter Egg, this is giving normal skins, so you can use those to upgrade other skins to Legendary. That's great. There's also a chance for cores. Even more Star Spawn cores are available. There's also the hard rock and fine wood which is used in the celestial island and there is a chance to get a diamond easter egg so there's a one in 20 chance that you can upgrade your superb egg to a diamond egg and that's huge for this event because not only do you get the bonus of opening a superb egg that's going to be a diamond egg for additional rewards which we will cover later on as well down here you can see there's a chance to get yourself some six star armor as well and that's a 10 percent chance across all of this but it's only going to be one piece it's not amazing and in my opinion it's kind of a low roll anyway let's go down and see what else we have sky labyrinth is pretty standard apart from one tiny chain so if i go ahead and select queen i can show you what that is for doing each stage in Sky Labyrinth, you're going to get 10 sewing kits. And these sewing kits are used to make rabbits this event. And these little bunnies that we're sewing together are going to get you a ton of rewards. Free-to-play players can expect to get to stage 6 or stage 7, depending on how many gems you want to spend. So let's just call that 60 or 70 of these sewing kits. It's your usual Skylab stuff. And for each additional level you do, you're going to get 10 more. And then finally, if you do push up to the stages of 25 onwards, you're going to get 15 as well. And actually, it stops at 30. So at 31, 2, 3, 4, all of that stuff isn't going to get you any more of these sewing kits. It's going to get you your usual Glorious Relics. But then again, why the heck are you spending that much that you're going to go that far? Don't be ridiculous, guys. Don't spend that much money. Just spend enough to be at a price point that you think is good and where you're going to get sewing kit rewards that are good for you. That is for you to work out based on the future stuff we're going to take a look at. Anyway, let's mosey across. And by the way, don't forget... There's a double privilege bonus, but it doesn't include the sewing kits. So don't get excited and think if you buy the pack that gives you the double bonus, you're going to get double sewing kits. You are not. It is only double of everything else. However, double mysterious artifact chests and double nine star puppets is actually pretty still good. So I like this. Obviously, you need to spend to do that. And we'll cover that in a second. 
Anyway, carrying on, we have the mysterious chest. This is your usual chests. However, there's an additional Easter egg here. This is the ordinary Easter egg and the lowest tier of Easter egg available, and also probably the most important one for you to get your hands on. Curiously, by opening this, there's Celestial Island materials in here, which is nice. There's a chance you get scrolls. There's a chance you get Starspawn cores, which is helpful for upgrading. Although, do bear in mind, it's not a lot, so it's not going to make a huge difference. You do need a ton of these to make a different tier level on a Starspawn. I really think two or one is quite stingy from DH Games, but, you know... Fair play. If we look at the Super Wishing Coins here, that's not great either. In my opinion, that's the biggest low roll of this. And the high roll, in my opinion, is a superb Easter egg chest because that's going to get you additional bonuses as well. By getting a superb Easter egg unlocked, there is a chance you can then upgrade that to a diamond Easter egg and check this Inception out, right? If I go inside one, I can go inside another and suddenly I've opened a bajillion menus. Wild. You can do that yourself, actually, if you want to. It's uh, there's, there's, there's no bonus to it. It's just it's just funny. Anyway, wishing coins. This is the big thing. I said this two weeks ago. If we don't get ourselves a mysterious artifact for using wishing coins, I will down a bottle of Reaper hot sauce. Well, it looks like my gambit paid off and we are getting these sewing kits for using your wishing coins. And by getting these sewing kits, you are getting more than just a mysterious artifact selection chest. We will tell you what that is in a second when we get to it. But guys, check this out. Penny is the top reward. That's really nice for newer players, but that doesn't even matter, right? The big stuff is the sewing kits. This is the event we've been waiting for. Hopefully you have a massive pile of wishing coins and have not spent any in any previous wishing coins events because we were stressing it for months saying save your coins an event will come when you get an artifact and if you didn't listen you're a dum dum if you're a new player i'm sorry but if you're established and you've got yourself at least a thousand wishing coins sing to the heavens it is time to finally cash them in and get something amazing and you know what guys we didn't even cover it in the mysterious chest thing if you haven't got enough and you've got six thousand gems floating around lol you probably don't but if you do congratulations you can buy 200 and that's the usual price, to be fair, of wishing coins. But realistically, I mean, you probably haven't been buying them from the market. So you can catch up real quick. You can get 200 right here. That's quite generous. But 6,000 gems is a lot. And I'm aware not a lot of people have that many gems. And people are concerned about using gems now before anniversary. But honestly, this event is so good. I'm not going to stop myself. I think it's really, really good too. I also want to stress, whilst we're still on the screen, you're getting 30 of these ordinary eggs. That number is important for later on. So just bear that in mind. Also, it's going to cost you a whopping 16,500 gems to go ahead and buy all this out. Don't forget, you're also going to need gems for Sky Labyrinth, and that's going to be anywhere between four and four and a half thousand there. So you could easily spend at least 20,000 gems this event to max it out. So easy, boy. You're going to need a lot of gems this week, but I really do think it's worth it. So why is it worth it? Well, it's all about the Easter party. So let's go check this stuff out. First of all, you can open your eggs. That's normal. We know this, but the bonus rewards is where it's at. If you get 10 diamond Easter eggs opened, which you might potentially be able to do if you spend a little bit of money, uh, you can go ahead and get yourself a choice of either a mysterious artifact selection chest that includes melodic strings, as well as a luxury cloud selection chest, which is giving you a ton of materials, which is going to help you out real nice. You get all the stuff in it. Or you can go and choose instead of a mysterious artifact selection chest, a hundred relics and a glorious flag. I really like this. I think this is a really interesting event because they're saying, hey, look, you can get a mysterious artifact or a flag and a hundred relics. And I think that matches the difference between the two. And it makes choosing one of these really good for some people. Some people don't need more artifacts. They're already established whales and just want flags for tenants. Other people really need artifacts and will go ahead and grab those. I think it's a win for both people involved. And I love that you get the choice. Choosing is good. Do more of this DH games. Choosing your rewards is perfection more of this please the 20 diamond easter egg event let's go look at this if you get 20 diamonds you're gonna get another artifact selection chest and a whopping luxury home chest which contains lowest but trust me getting to 20 of those diamonds is going to require a lot of money spent but it's an option if you um well if you can do it either way though it is the similar thing it's either a mysterious artifact or a flag plus 100 relics again that choice is just gnarly in addition if you get 10 superb easter eggs done which should be available as free to play players i will explain how to do this that's the one in the middle here this nice painted one if you get 10 of those opened you will get yourself a mysterious artifact selection chest so rejoice folks who are free to play this is yours if you have saved wishing coins i love that and i don't have to down any hot sauce and if you get to 25 which is going to require a lot of luck and you probably Probably won't get this far we're going to get this cloud island chest and another mysterious artifact selection chest or a flag 
and 100 glorious relics. So again, pretty standard. Now, the cool thing as well is if you open these ordinary eggs, you're getting additional bonuses on top of that. For 10 of them, you're going to get gems. That's going to be really helpful considering you need a lot of gems this week. There's elite shards. There's six-star chests. There's a nine-star puppet. And there's a glory epic hero selection chest, which includes Holmes Young and all light and dark heroes. So this is an epic chest to go and grab. And that requires 135 ordinary eggs, which is hopefully the number that free-to-play players will get. I'll tell you how to get to that number in a second. Don't forget the ordinary eggs are going to get you superb eggs and by opening 135 it is likely that you get five to six of those superb eggs so bear that in mind five to six is a very good number because there's a chance that you can get more from here this is where we cash in our sewing things, and our sewing things will vary from stage to stage. First of all, there's step one, which is going to use 10, and then it linearly increases over and over again. So it's going to be 10, then it's 20, then it's 30, then it's 40, then it's 50. So you're going to need 150 to do all the five steps. But how does this work? Well, let's go take a look at your rewards. First of all, you're going to want to grab an ordinary Easter egg because these eggs are containing not only good rewards, but it's also a chance to get a superb Easter egg. And it's the only way as a free-to-play player, if you're doing this event to max it, you are going to get 135 of these ordinary eggs. So you grab that, you click the tick, and then you press make. Then you go to step too. You can see here there's some nice stuff. You got some six star puppets, you got some mithril pickaxes, but again, you should probably be getting these ordinary eggs. That's going to take you to 25. So you grab that and then you move on. That's going to cost you 20. This stage is going to cost you 30, and you can choose here a chest for each faction. There is a fortress selection chest. There is one for forest, shadow, and abyss. And you basically get to choose the hero of your choice from that faction just as a normal chest, but it is faction limited. I really think this is cool, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. Kind of cool. Step four. Oh yeah, this is where things get interesting. The temptation to go for a nine star light puppet is real, but no, 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 no. Go for the superb Easter eggs because that's five. And remember guys, I said, if you do 135 of the ordinary eggs, you're going to get another five on top of that. <gasps> that's going to take you to 10. And congratulations by getting to 10. You just got yourself a mysterious artifact selection chest as a free to play player. Wowzers trousers, right? There you go. Look, and all you had to do was get to this point here on the sewing things. That's, that's pretty good. Actually, if you high roll hard enough, you might only need to get to step four. And, and that's kind of wild because the superb eggs are getting you mysterious stuff. So generally, you could just get to step four and just high roll the rest of your stuff on these ordinary eggs, get more superbs, and just, just hold there. Well done, right? Just well played. You got yourself 10 of these, open them up, claim your rewards. If you're super lucky, you might even get some diamond Easter eggs as well in there nice now stage five is where you can get more diamond easter eggs and i just think they're an instant pick i know they're pitted against 10 stars but guys come on diamond easter eggs top end rewards festival limited skins come on man i'm opening this up this is great you got some star spawn course free to play players rejoice and if you get step five completed congratulations free to play players you just got yourself a glorious flag selection chest and that means you can get a flag for your tenants. So now you're feeling like a big boy who's got flags. I like that. Plus 100 relics, which is excellent. So every single time you make a rabbit, that's what you get. And believe it or not, guys, you can do it all over again. Now, if you want to get to the 135, you're going to need to get another bunch of ordinary eggs here. And you need to go to stage two and get another bunch of ordinary eggs. But of course, it depends on whether you want to get to 135. My encouragement would be, yes, do it. The rewards are fantastic. I mean, are you not going to go ahead and get this glory epic chest? But then again, look, 95, that's still great. That's a nine star light puppet. That's just good stuff. And obviously 95, you can still high roll and get five superb Easter eggs because it's a one in 20 chance. All you need is around 100 if you hit the odds right in the middle, well done. Superb Easter eggs, good for you. So hopefully you can high roll. I don't like that there's a bit of RNG here that some people will low roll. Some people will get no superb eggs or not enough. Some people will get to nine and that's going to be super frustrating. If that's you, let me know in the comment section. Although probably you shouldn't be commenting this soon because you shouldn't be doing all this right now. I want to stress that, right? Completing this whole event... There's a lot of stuff you need. A ton of gems. You've got to see how you do in Sky Labyrinth. You've got to see how many of those sewing things you're going to pick up just by playing the game. You've got to see how many wishing coins you've got. It might be worth waiting right until the end of the week before you go ahead and do all this stuff. Don't forget to do it. God damn it, that would be insane. But do go ahead and wait because it's probably smarter to assess what you can get over the week and see what things you can accumulate, whether you can get enough of those wishing coins. There are loads of places to get them. Aspen, Dungeon, Celestial, Island. You can buy them for gold. You can buy them for gems. You can get that chest of 6,000. Are you going to have the 20,000 gems needed? All these questions are things you need to be asking before you even consider trying to max out this event. Because if you can't, right, if you just can't touch this event, 
there may be an argument that it's worth saying, you know what, screw these ordinary eggs. I'm just going to be grabbing scroll. I, I wouldn't grab scrolls, actually. Just straight up buy, the, buy these eggs, right? But then you might go, maybe I'm going to get six-star puppet chests. But again, in my opinion, look, it's, it's Celestial Island stuff. But buy these eggs. And then step three, okay, you can choose whatever. And But they're here, right? I mean, you, what's five super beast eggs if you can't get to 10? If you low roll, right? What are you going to do? But then again, you don't know you've low rolled until you've gone all the way back round again, because if you want to get to 135, you've got to go ahead and get the additional 25 eggs here, because there's other ways to get eggs, which will get you to 110. So these last 25s by doing step one and step two again is what gets you. Now, those of you that can do maths have quickly realized that step one, two, three, four, and five is 150 of those sewing kits. So to do stage one and two again to get to 135 on the eggs is going to require 180. As I said earlier, though, sometimes you might only need to get to step four, depends how lucky you get. But let's suppose you need to do the max 180 on here. Where do you get them? Well, if you remember back to Sky Labyrinth, we said you can get 60 to 70 from there. So on top of that, we're going to need around 120 to 110 of these sewing kits. Now, fortunately, if you remember wishing coins, that's going to get you 30 of these just by doing a pass. Now, if you saved up a thousand wishing coins like I have here, and you click the 80 for 100 button here, so you actually save a ton of wishing coins you actually do 240 to do 300 so that's 240 a pass and that's going to be 960 of your coins used to go ahead and walk away with 120 sewing kits and 120 sewing kits plus the ones you're going to get from sky labyrinth for free is 180 which means you can easily get to stage two now obviously guys you can get to stage four without using that many wishing coins at all. And if you high roll enough on your ordinary eggs, it doesn't even matter. So in fact, a lot of people, even if you can just get to step four, are going to be walking away from this event. If you're lucky from your ordinary eggs and get a ton of these superb Easter eggs, you're going to be able to get to a mysterious artifact selection chest just by getting to step four. I love that. But obviously step five is great because it's going to get you this, the, the flag chest, and then the additional bonuses as well for getting to 135. Now, a huge place for you to get ordinary eggs is this, and this is a test. You have to answer questions about the game correctly, and you have to get to stage 10, and you get eggs equal to the stage you're on. So it's one, two, three, four, five. If you add that all together, that's 55 eggs eggs that's a lot of ordinary eggs plus the 25 at the beginning of that thing that's going to take you to 80 and then you get your additional ones by just going ahead and getting them from the mysterious chests which is going to be an additional 30 so that gets you to a wonderful 110 so there you go that's how you get to 110 obviously the first 125 from stage one and two again is going to get you to 135 and you're probably thinking hey hey hey, hey mk how does this quiz work well let's start it Let's see what it says. Who uses weapons the most luxuriously, discarding one after using it? Well, that's the Legion mech. Confirm. Okay, good. There's an egg for me. What weapon is held by Hot Spring Fanatic? It's a ladle. It is Fiona's skin. Let's go with that. Fabulous. More eggs for me. Which of the following skins will open your heart? It's actually a Silent Crescent, I believe. Perfect. Which of the following heroes does not float in mid... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Tussalago definitely does. Um, Eloise, ah, does she, does she, does Jara have feet, right? Now I'm wondering, does Jara have feet? Because I know Eloise has spikes, but does Jara float? Um, is she just going to float? Uh, yeah, she floats. So actually Eloise doesn't float, even though you think she would. She has spikes for legs. So she is going to be the answer to that one. Uh, so let me just go in. Uh, it's going to be Eloise does not float in midair. Confirm. Woo. Which of the following heroes? has the most hands. Well, Aspen, you got all those tentacles, right? Nice. Which of the following hero's skills can make the enemy smaller? Well, that's Olivia with her shrink. Lovely stuff. And that's more eggs for me. What is the real name of Sleepless? Morog. There you go. Who is watching the Starry Night Halora? Well, the Starry Night Halora is the one with all the spotlights. So the answer is spotlights. Which of the following heroes has a skin called Blushing Tipsy? That is going to be Eloise's skin. Congratulations, me lovely stuff. What item will be consumed if you fail in the Tower of Oblivion? It is a magical droplet. Congratulations, me. How many monsters are there in the game? There are 10. Thank you again. Which of the following heroes has the most skins? Valkyrie, no question. She has so many skins. And which of the following items does not appear in Aspen Dungeon? Milk does. Death potions are not a thing. Angel potions and demon potions are, so death potions is the right answer. Which of the following items is not dropped in the campaign? It's going to be crystal ingots because you can get scrolls, equipment, and challenge badges. Lovely. 
which of the following items has no corresponding resource building in the Celestial Island? It is instantly hero promotion stones. I know that for a fact. And in the Provet Tree, which of the following hero factions cannot be replaced? Instantly, it's going to be light or dark. Light is an option there, so we'll select that. Next, we have which of the following monsters has the skill Soul Shock? That is Fox. And which of the following items cannot be purchased in the marketplace? Gold. It is gold. Yeah, you can't buy gold. Everything else there, you could. When Flora went out for a picnic, what little friend did she take with her? Like, well, she's got a squirrel, right? Uh, yes. Cool. Which of the following animals is not a monster? Snake, lion, phoenix, tiger. Look, it's a lion. Grr. Great. And here we are, stage nine. Which hero gave Sword Flash? the bear when she was in the campus idol it is foolish he got sadded how many spider legs are on nakia's back well she's got two arms and two legs so let's say four good which of the following is an absolutely forbidden school rule of the fortress mage academy never be absent from school for no reason never use magic in front of ordinary people never hide the headmaster's hat never start a magic jewel inside of the school uh, do you reckon it's never use magic in front of ordinary people do you reckon it's that kind of thing no it's not never start a it's gonna be so dumb like never hide the headmaster's hat god damn it is i can't believe that's actually the answer that's stupid what terrible thing will happen if you annoy ignis dragon maiden uh what she will use the power of the gods to execute no that's not what the heck well i'm gonna have to go find the answer to that one it's gonna be on the skin right dragon maiden or it's a skin right let's go to abyss um right dragon maiden uh, daughter of dragons, princess of rivers, summoner of rain, liberator of slaves, breaker of chains. Well, aren't they just memeing on, like, Game of Thrones? I totally didn't realize that was actually just a meme on Game of Thrones. Wow. Kind of cringe. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go back. Um, huge wave strike to con- I have no idea. Let's go with that one. Nope. Um, summoner of rains, a three- day long rain enough to spoil your mooncakes that's such a dumb answer right the fact that they go into that detail it's got to be the answer god it is i can't believe it who is the leader of the legendary black tide mercenaries oh ithaca i know this one i've read her bio um and then finally we have stage 10 oh right i've got eight failed attempts there's five questions i've got to get right okay which of the following difficulties does not exist in aspen heaven straight up i know that for a fact which of the following packages does not exist in the game daily weekly almighty well that's obviously nonsense what is in the glass of Cleopatra, the ace skin of Amon Ra? Uh, red wine. Wait, 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 wait. The ace skin of Amon Ra. The ace skin of... Wait, it says red wine, of course. Wait, 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 wait. No, because her lore has got red wine. So what is in the Cleopatra skin? That's not the Cleopatra skin. Where is it? Is this the Cleopatra skin? No. Oh, goodness me. It's going to be here... Oh, that's poison, right? No, that's monstrous tribunal. What the heck? What the, the oh the ace skin ah look at me looking in the complete wrong place like a donut. Oh, that's very clever because loads of people are gonna say snake poison or something like that, right? So here we go. Preview this and doopy doop. It's red wine. Wait, wait, wait. Where did that snake come from? No, no. Ah, uh, no. Nah, nah, now I am confused. It's either red wine or a snake. Let's see. When she does that, it sloshes. Where does the snake come from? Is it out of her sleeve? Oh, no, it's in. It's, it's in the cup. It's in the cup. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's going to be the answer. It's got to be, right? A poisonous, a little white snake, right? Nailed it. Who is the first person Russell met in the idle continent? I feel like it's, is it Michelle? It's either Michelle or Cruz. I'm going to guess Michelle. No, is it Cruz? Yes. Okay, what is the unlock condition? For the Gate of the Void. Well, own any E5 hero. Are we done? Did we do them all? I win! Yeah! Woo! Okay, so there's all the answers to the questions. I'm glad I made it through. That's wild. And I have a ton of these eggs now, so that's really cool. You're probably thinking, yo, MK, that took a ton of time, and I feel like we need to learn more about the event. You are correct. Let's go look at the Easter package. So look at the meme. Easter idols. See what they did there? Oh, dear. Right. Basically, this is annoying, right? Look at these. These idols, you have to buy. Even if you fulfill the condition, they're limited behind a pay. And annoyingly, the paywall here is reasonable. If you look at the rewards, 10 star puppet for 10 bucks, or it's a festival limited skin and a glory epic hero selection chest. So if you do manage to get 
15 superb Easter eggs. I bet you a ton of people are going to be spending 10 bucks to go ahead and get themselves a limited skin. If you open 10 diamond Easter eggs, you'll get yourself a mysterious artifact selection chest or a glorious flag and 100 glorious relics. And that's going to cost you 15 bucks to grab that. And if you remember, 10 diamond Easter eggs doesn't just get you rewards here. It also gets you rewards here. So that's stacking on itself. You're getting multiple amounts of flags or mysterious artifacts for getting those Easter eggs opened. But of course, you have to buy this for 15 bucks to be able to claim it. The Thinking Statue, that's 20 bucks to purchase, but if you do manage to get lucky enough to open 15 diamond Easter eggs, you get another mysterious artifact and artifact essence. And if you high roll the eggs, I, I you know what? I, it's very tempting, right? It is a little bit of extra money, and I think it's a very sneaky thing from DH Games, because I know spenders for sure will spend a little bit of extra cash to get themselves these extra artifacts, because it's it seems reasonable, right? Although you forget that you've already spent a ton of money to get to this point in the first place. It's a nice way of eking a little bit of extra money out of spenders. I'm impressed by DH Games' salesmanship in this. Is it good for people? I mean, not really. I'd rather it was free, but you know what? fair play serious statue here is 135 ordinary eggs that's why you want to do them that's going to get you a 2000 gem boost so all those gems you spent this week that 20 or 21,000 gems you can replenish 2000 of them and you also get a festival limited skin i cannot stress to you how rare these skins are and they're very important for doing bonds in the celestial island where you have multiple skins that are legendary that are in the same groups that's going to get you additional rewards and it's going to give you better stats for your heroes so getting festival limited skins is huge now the final thing here before my voice entirely implodes is the quaint easter reward package and this is a hundo bucks and you might think yikes that's a lot of money it is however it's going to get you double rewards from sky labyrinth 100 pickaxes thank goodness me, they're actually giving you pickaxes for buying this package. That's brilliant. You're getting 10,000 gems, 200 wishing coins. That's going to help you if you don't have enough. Four of these diamond Easter eggs, which is twice as many as a normal 100 package, which makes it even more attractive. And it's got a fancy, fancy, super rare festival limited skin. For Holmes Young, Star Alchemist Holmes Young, you know that Transcendence hero you're probably not going to build? Well, you get a skin for him. And it's probably going to be important for skin bonds or something. So you know what? It's a festival skin. I'm not going to complain. All of this together is stuff I need on my account. I need gems. I need pickaxes. I need wishing coins to complete this event. And I need diamond Easter eggs to complete this event. So actually, 100 bucks is kind of attractive. Also, double rewards from Sky Labyrinth? That's wild. So yeah, I'll play. I'll play ball. DH Games, you got me with this package. I don't normally say that about $100 packages, but this flat out, I'm like, oh, wow. No, I'm down bad for this. This is a great package. Well played, DH Games. Very well played. And all in all, this event is just great in general. The rewards are fantastic. Free-to-play players get a ton of stuff, including flags if you've saved up your wishing coins. Spenders get a ton of mysterious artifacts from opening a ton of different eggs. You can get them from here as bonus rewards. You can go ahead and get more from these Easter Island heads if you're going to spend a little bit of extra cash. And it just results in a fantastic event for everybody. I've already broken down in my opinion, the best thing for free-to-play players to do, you either get to stage four if you high roll and don't have a lot of wishing coins, or you go and do the 180 and you just cash it all in, get basically buy all the mysterious artifacts, chest things. Then again, I mean, scale with what you've got, right? Depending on how many gems you've got, you might not actually need to buy all of these things. If you're not going to get to 135 eggs, then don't push yourself, right? It is a lot of gems to spend. You probably don't need to spend this many gems. You might have more wishing coins, so you could lean harder on wishing coins to get more of the sewing stuff. Like, at the end of the day, this is just giving you eggs, right? It's not giving you sewing materials, so you don't actually need to spend on this. The ordinary eggs are just going to be used to high roll the superb Easter eggs. So if you're already doing good, if you're rolling a ton, you might not need to go ahead and spend all that stuff in the mysterious chest event. You might not need all those gems. Why? Because you could just high roll the super Easter eggs. You could also low roll and that sucks and then spend all your gems and still low roll. And honestly, I would be really upset if that happened, but that's going to happen to some people and I'm sorry if it does. But for a lot of people, you won't even need to spend that many gems to get some great rewards. All in all, love this event so much. Tons of ways for people to get some good stuff. And actually, finally, if you're going to buy this $100 package, that's going to push you nice and far. If you combine that with a ton of uh, wishing coins that you're hopefully able to do, right? You should be able to complete, if I can show you it, this twice, which is then going to get you two diamond eggs from here, two diamond eggs from here, plus the four that you've just bought. And hopefully you rolled two more from your superb eggs. And that's going to be enough for you to go ahead and not only get 10 diamond Easter eggs opened here, 
But in addition, you should hopefully, if you're lucky, be able to get this here up as well. Whether you go for flags or artifacts is entirely up to you. Depends on where you're at in the game. But even just for 100 bucks to walk away with two potential artifacts and the opportunity, well, not really two potential artifacts, but if you spend 100 bucks plus this little bit here, you get two potential artifacts, and that's nice. Double rewards from Skylab. It seems like a really good investment for 100 bucks. Not complaining. Not to mention you get two lots of glorious flags for doing it twice on the rabbit. It's just a lot of stuff for that 100 bucks relative to how much it normally costs. Big fan, and I told you guys when the flags were introduced to the game that they're going to make it easier to pick them up, and this event is exactly that. So a lot of people who spent a ton of money on flags early might be kicking themselves, thinking, dang it, why did I spend a thousand on all those flags? Because you can get so many this event for considerably less. I offered my advice. If you didn't follow it a few weeks ago when flags came out, I'm sorry, but that was my opinion. Anyway, that's everything. Let's go take a look at next week's event, and it's pretty standard. It's a heroic lottery. It's going to be a brand new hero coming out to the game, which is cool. Uh, it's a new forest hero, I think, coming out, so that's really nice. And also, look at the hero exchange. Holmes Young and Eloise, what a fantastic pair of heroes. Finally, not some stupid Aspen Asmodel crap. This is a perfect duality of heroes. In fact, I think I couldn't think of two better heroes that aren't light and dark to add to the game. Even then, I can't think of any good light and dark heroes, apart from maybe a carry or a Drake or just a ton of dark heroes to throw into this. So yeah, Eloise, Holmes Young, Love that pairing. Fabulous choice. And yeah, Palace of Eternity, Palace of Crystal, all that stuff's coming in. So nothing to be surprised by here. And just rejoice. DH Games listening to our feedback and giving us some darn good events. Well played, man. I really like this event. I've said it enough times. This is what I think one of the best events we've ever had for free-to-play players and spenders. Easter is just wild. Who knew it could be such a hardcore event? Hopefully you found my review useful. Hopefully you found me going through the answers to the quiz helpful. And folks, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join us every Friday for an event overview so you guys don't make any mistakes. And if you need to know it, don't forget the code for this month is springtime 2022 IH. Cash that in, get some gems, and hopefully it can help you complete this event. Either way, folks, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'll see you in the next one. And happy island.